Good morning students I am Ma'am Violet Bailey and today in maths we will start the new chapter and the name of the chapter is multiplication Let us first understand what is multiplication Multiplication is a quicker method for adding the same number again and again We can also say that multiplication is a repeated addition let us add in twos here you can see three groups of two balls and the total number of balls is 6 we add here 2 plus 2 plus 2 equal to 6 we can write this in a shorter way as 2 times 3 is 6 that is 3 into 2 is equal to 6 we use a special sign into into stands for multiplication in 3 into 2 equal to 6 3 and 2 are called the factors whereas 6 is called the product Let's now look at the properties of multiplication. The first property is a change in the order of the factors does not change the product. Let us take the example 5 multiplied by 6 is equal to 30 and the second is 6 multiplied by 5 is equal to 30. Here in both the cases the product is same that is 30 and the factors are also same that is 5 and 6 only the order of the factors is change so the result will be same so we can say that 5 multiplied by 6 is equal to 6 multiplied by 5 The second property of multiplication is the product of a number and 1 is the number itself. This means that any number when multiplied by 1 will give the same number as itself. For example, here you can see 7 multiplied by 1 will give the number itself that is 7. the third property of multiplication is that the product of any number by 0 is 0 this means that if we multiply any number by 0 we will get the answer 0 here you can see the example 5 multiplied by 0 is equal to 0 let's now learn about multiplication on the number line let us look at this example with the help of number line find 3 into 2 for multiplication start from 0 and mark two groups of threes to the right of 0 so from 0 we will move towards the number 3 we will reach at the point 6 we get two jumps of three equal steps that is 2 times 3 here you can see that we have started from 0 and we have moved to 3 and from there 3 we have again taken one more step and we have reached to 6 so 3 Plus three is equal to six, or two multiplied by three is equal to six. I hope, students, you have understood up till here. Now I will be giving you some assignments, some questions that you have to do in your copy. So have a great day, students, and do your work very neatly in your copy.